have a lot of people who thank us for our service. A lot of vets that I work with are completely disgusted by people thanking them for participating in illegal war. It's a very triggering thing to have someone come up and do that. Um, but so a lot of people just hold a piece. A lot of vets that I work with just, you know, no, thank you or return the thanks or anything. It's like, okay, you don't understand. That's okay. I'm not going to get mad and yell at you for that. But it can, it's, it's really strange living in this world uh, where this projection is constantly put onto us by our entire nation and we're not allowed to truly express what's happening in here. And that could arguably be some of the reasons for PTSD if you understand it being stuck in this liminal stage, uh, somewhere between who we were when we left and what we've become as we've been there, and no true acknowledgement of the fact that we are neither of those things and something else is going on inside of us. So this song is called Support the Troops, and it's a, a poem that I wrote, uh, and I felt the need to turn it into a song and an album because it's just a really popular catchphrase in our culture and it carries a lot of weight. <laughs> Yeah. 
I saw is a poem that I read by an Iraq veteran. And I was incredibly touched by it. The poem was called They Call Me Son, They Call Me Hero. And I think it's a really good example of what we were talking about before, how as veterans, we sometimes, if we have a moral awakening and decide to level our moral lance on what we experience, uh, we, uh, to some extent, have to acknowledge our moral injury. And that's part of that topic. And when I came back from war, uh, my, my parents, my family, my community treat me as if I was Jacob, their son. Uh, my nation treated me as if I was their hero, Sergeant George. Uh, and for me, I wasn't either of those things. I was no longer their son, and I'm also not the hero that you're projecting on me. Uh, I actually feel very ashamed about what I've done. And I wrestled with that for a long time because I didn't know how to say that out loud. I didn't know what was going on. All I knew is I felt like, here's me, and here's the other version of me that you're all projecting on me over here, and I to some extent try to live this life that's not really who I am. So it caused me to feel dislocated with my own spirit, like my soul was halfway out of my body or something. Uh, so this song is really about that concept that, that when we come home, we're, we're, because of our trauma, we're stuck in this transitional stage. And trauma, in essence, is transformation. Uh, if you're traumatized, you can never be what you were before you experienced this traumatic event. And the only way to really move forward is to own that trauma and turn it into a great gift. Uh, and that could be turning trauma into transformation. So what happens when we experience this war trauma, we come back, we're holding all this trauma from war, but we're never given the opportunity to transform it into who we are now were held in that liminal stage by the projection and the ideas and the structures within our culture. Uh, and that makes us very ill. So this song is called They Call Me Son, They Call Me Hero.
the best example I can come up with is that uh, you can see in the more common very many types of problems. We all talk about it. The more work I do on myself, the more time, the more work I do on my people, the more testing I'm doing in my laboratory, the more I'm starting to see what we call PTSD in everyone around me. The more seriously I'm taking it myself, the more clear it becomes in all of us. Uh, and we're all, to some degree, stuck in that stage where we're not honestly and truly honored for who we are, stuck uh, in between these two points. And there's a lot of different things that are going War trauma is, is a, a very unique case of trauma. Uh, being that we sign a sacred contract with our soul in the military to protect. And that contract is older than war itself. That contract is signed on paper, but it's also signed by speaking sacred words in unison with people. And that's signing a contract with the soul. And most of us sign this contract to protect. And that's it. That was the intent. Not to protect international corporations. Not to protect geopolitical interests not to protect green, but simply to protect, and that's an honorable thing. And what happens is, through the course of signing the sacred contract, our contract is taken advantage of. And we're used for all these things that we didn't sign up for, we signed up to protect, believing that that intent would be honored with righteousness and truth. And it wasn't and our souls were used for the various reasons our contract uh, necessarily broke it, that they were manipulated and what happened was our souls were toyed with in the process and the best way I can describe it to you if you haven't been to war is that the same contract you signed with your soul when you married someone is signed to protection, that's a soul contract. So you're signing something and you're saying oath to someone who's swearing sacred words. And understanding that you have been lied to and cheated on and taken advantage of and emotionally abused and physically abused by your government is like taking that discovery from yourself. Right? And all of a sudden the contract and the world doesn't make sense in them. But the difference is the sacred contract for tech that is signed when joining the military uh, isn't like something you can get divorced from by a spouse and just never see her again. Every time a veteran has to leave the house, they have to look her in the eye, flapping on a flag roller on someone's car. And it's like, it would be like getting divorced from someone and then having fear every time you leave the house. And constantly being reminded of that. Constantly. I wonder why so many veterans don't even want to leave their house. So that's the closest I can get to explaining to you what PTSD is for a lot of veterans uh, and relating it to something that everyone else experiences in their lives. It's very much a contract that has been broken. Uh, and can use and use, um, and it, it damages people big time. So the next song is called Soldier's Heart, and it's about that contract and how it's broken. <laughs> 